A year ago, the Hawks were 2-7, and seven, and they really wanted to give Brock Hewitt a good look at quarterback, but injuries got in the way. You will, however, not hear this guy complain, Brenton. That's one reason why you got to like him. You really like him. You will never, ever complain, and of course, he has that golden arm, so you hope that he gets another shot in the NFL right now. Of course, he's the third-string quarterback, possibly the backup if Dilfer can't go, but football fans around the Northwest have seen Brock grow up on the football field for a long time. For Brock Heward, the trip to the NFL was just a short 45-minute drive north. And before there were Sundays, it was all about Friday nights under the lights. Puyallup High School is where Brock's football journey began. We had a special time growing up, and Dad was a great coach, and uh, you know a lot of great players came through our high school, and this is my junior year. Brock learned the game from his dad, Mike, and gives him a lot of credit for his success. And we, I think we really learned how to play the game, uh, you know, behind the scenes, how to practice, how to work. Um, we learned, you know, more than I think the average high school guy does. Brock took that knowledge north on I-5, choosing to play on Saturdays in Husky Stadium. He's still the career passing leader at the University of Washington with 5,742 yards. I had a great four years. I got a chance to play three years, uh, play with some great, great players, Corey Dillon, the Jerome Payton, some you know, we had a lot of great wins and victories and savored a lot of those. And Hewitt spins away. But Sundays were in Brock's future. He left the U after his junior year and is now in his third season with the Seahawks. High backfield, Alexander now Max Strong in motion. Hewitt fakes the handoff. Rolling in week left. four against the Raiders, Hewitt connected on the Hawks' first TD pass of the season. He hasn't had the opportunity since, but says his outlook on the game has never been better. And I think that's the, the thing in your maturing is that you got to try to just play through the guy who's on the field, put yourself in that position. You just do whatever it takes, kind of whatever you're asked to do, whether that is the three, the two, um, you know, whatever role, whatever capacity, you know, they asked me to do, I try to do it to the best I can. Hey, how you doing? You know, welcome to Bob Vila's house. I'm always standing on this tile. That doesn't move. Speaking of ability, the lefty has shown he's pretty good with a hammer, too. Brock spent the offseason with his wife, Molly, remodeling their house. But this is what I'm most proud of right here. Don't get a real close up on this because the further back you get, the better it looks. <laughs> but uh, this was my River Rock fireplace. Not bad for a quarterback, and Brock says he's not ready to trade in the cleats for a power saw just yet. I think the important thing is to, uh, you know, just remember how blessed you are, how great this opportunity is, and then not just coast through it, to uh, work as hard as you can and, and plug along even though, you know, you're not in the spotlight. It's been a while since we've really had a chance to see it, but what physical gifts this guy has got. He can really bring it. He can bring it, throws a really, really tight spiral. We saw it a little bit in the Oakland Raiders game on September 30th when he came in, what Brock called scrub time at that point, but he did wing it a little bit, and he got a couple touchdown passes. All right, Brent, great job as always.